Hi, Dr. Tyson Suizo with Tower Clock Eye Center. I just want to talk briefly about a new lens technology that we're introducing at the clinic. And the name of that is the Light Adjustable Lens by Prescription Sight. It's a novel technique, and as we know, a cataract is a change in the lens of the eye from a clear lens to a cloudy lens. It's our goal then of the surgery to remove that cloudy lens and replace it with a clear artificial lens. So not only do we improve the clarity of the vision, but these days we also want to try to decrease the need for glasses. And that requires that the light rays are focused cleanly on the fovea. That's the central part of the retina that you see 2020 with. And in order to achieve that, historically speaking, we would measure the eye, measure both the curvature of the cornea as well as the length of the eye. And those two components would fit into formulas and allow us to accurately pick the power implant for that individual patient. The technology that I'm going to talk about now circumvents some of that. We still want to measure the eye accurately, but the light adjustable lens allows us to do something unique. It allows us to adjust and change how the patient sees after the surgery. This alters the landscape postoperatively and empowers the patient to choose how they see. Oftentimes, we'll get requests for sharp distance vision, computer vision, reading vision, and the light adjustable lens allows us to play around with some of this. While the lens itself is a single focus implant, it's been noted that there is some tendency for increased depth of field after treatments of the implant to change the power of the lens. So we finished with the surgery, and approximately 17 days after the operation, we can begin to use our light delivery device in the clinic to alter the prescription of the lens, have the patient try that out, and then return to clinic and lock that in using a different wavelength light. The lens comes with a UV blocking component called Active Shield. And while it's still recommended to use special sunglasses while out in the sunlight, this has gone a long way of making the lens more user friendly. And it's one of the main reasons why we are now implementing the, tech, the technology in our clinic. I think we all like the idea of empowering our patients and including them in the decision in terms of how they want to see after surgery. Uh, we look forward to seeing how this technology develops and um, the benefits that it brings our patient population. Current formulas measure the length of the eye, as well as the curvature of the cornea at axes 90 degrees away from each other. These components through specialized formulas for cataract surgery yield powers of implants that should yield refractive results. And this is how we would do surgery. We do the measurements, we pick the implant, and then a week or two later, we find out how the patient is seeing. And hopefully the predictive nature of the formulas allows the patient to see exactly how we plan them to see. What the light adjustable lens allows us to do is tweak that after the surgery. And if either we're not happy or the patient's not happy, we can alter how they see and improve the quality of life for them from there. So it's our hope that the light adjustable lens through empowering the patient, giving them the ability to adjust and fine tune the vision after surgery, allows for happier patients and better outcomes. This is gonna be specifically important for people who've had previous refractive surgery, RK, LASIK, PRK, where we know that the formulas are gonna be less accurate. It'll allow us to still end up with happy patients. And even if the initial result isn't perfect, we can change that and then we can lock in a result that's gonna allow for not only uh, removal of the cataract and better vision, but an actual post-operative result that's gonna allow us to further decrease the need for glasses. And that's really the goal.